Hey everybody, Chef John here. I've got a great recipe for you today. Peruvian spicy fish. It's <laughs> awesome. It's actually the real name of it is Pescado a la Coriana. It's a very popular dish I understand in Peru. About a year ago, Morgan and I started going to Miami Beach a lot. We got addicted and we fell in love with Peruvian food down there. I came back and been working on some recipes. I sure hope you like this one. One thing I've got to say before I get started is John Gonzalez, Amy Sherman, Behind the Mitten. Every Sunday morning, they're on the radio. You can find the radio station. You can just Google Behind the Mitten, but it's awesome. And then they do a podcast, and you can hear that podcast or hear that radio show on the podcast wherever you get your podcast. Behind the Mitten. I was on it last week, and I had a ball, and I actually said some things I thought they were going to edit, but instead they made it the intro to my uh, interview. So enjoy that. But right now, let's go make some wonderful, spicy Peruvian fish. Here's everything you're going to need to make this fantastic pescado a la Corralana, a Peruvian fish dish. Today, I've got two six-ounce fillets of mahi-mahi. I first made this with sea bass. I've made it with cod and about every white fish you can possibly think of. I'm going to use a tablespoon of this. It's aji amarillo, and you can buy it in any Hispanic market or on Amazon is where I get it. You're going to need about a tablespoon of that, and it's just a yellow pepper paste. I've got two medium tomatoes sliced pretty thickly, a quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar mixed with a half a cup of chicken stock or fish stock. Today I've got fish stock. One red onion sliced thickly. One medium tomato chopped. A tablespoon of oregano. Four minced garlic cloves. And about a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil to get the whole thing started. So I've just salted the fish liberally. And we're going to let this sit aside while we make our sauce. It's a snowy March day here in mid-Michigan, so it's a perfect day to make a dish that reminds me of Miami. First thing we're gonna do is just pour our quarter of a cup of vegetable oil into our pan, let it heat up over medium heat. And once that oil is warmed up, we're gonna add our onion with a pinch of salt. And we're just gonna cook these till they're getting translucent, probably about five minutes. Now my onions are about where I like them. They're soft. They're gonna to continue to cook in the sauce a little bit so they'll soften up a little bit more. So now I'm gonna throw in our garlic. I'm gonna just saute that for about a minute. Now we're gonna add our chopped tomatoes. Our yellow pepper paste, our ahi amarillo, and our oregano. We'll give that a good stir. And now we'll add our stock and red wine vinegar. I'm gonna let this reduce for about three minutes. I'm gonna add some salt, some fresh ground black pepper. And then we're going to add our tomatoes, our sliced tomatoes. We'll let these simmer in the sauce for about a minute. I'm going to taste for salt and pepper here. Mm, that's good. And we're just going to turn off the burner and set it aside while we cook the fish. I'm going to add my fish. Now I've made this dish, I've, I've, traditionally it's pan fried like this, but I've oven roasted it, I've broiled it. Any way you get your fish done can be fine in this dish. So I reached 135 degrees in the center. I'm going to set the fish aside for a minute and I'll show you how we plate it. Now to plate this, what I want to do is I'm going to get some of the sauce here and put it down on my plates. And then I want to take our nice piece of fish and set that on top of the sauce. 
And then I want to come in and get some of these nice tomatoes and more of the sauce. And plate those right on top. And then top it with a little cilantro. Well, here it is. Our favorite fish dish right now in our home, pescado a la coreana, a wonderful spicy Peruvian fish dish. Enjoy. Well, it's awesome and we can't take any more pictures because we already ate it, but it was delicious. Please make this dish, it is really, really good. Hey, if you don't like spicy, just don't put the ahi uh, on it. You know, and it's still just as good, but you know, it's up to you, it's, you're cooking. So enjoy and we'll see you again soon with more videos.